What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be discussing whether you should pursue girls or making money. This is a question that I get all the time. I get it on the internet, I get it in real life, and it just seems like the two strongest things that motivate men to do things are making money and getting girls. And what I want you to do really quick is to just drop a comment down below telling us how old you are. And as you do that, take a look around and see how old everybody else is in the comment section. Because I guarantee you, you might feel alone, you might feel confused, but there are hundreds, if not thousands of other people in the exact same position as you right now. And that should make you feel a little bit better. But let's begin. When it comes to deciding what to pursue, I think that my opinion has changed over time, okay? When I was in high school, the only thing that mattered to me was my friends. I could care less about working a job. I wasn't thinking about the future. I wasn't thinking about college. I wasn't thinking about what I was gonna be when I wanted to grow up. I didn't think about any of that stuff. All I cared about was hanging out with my buddies. We used to go on hikes. We used to drink some booze. We used to play Call of Duty. We used to talk about what's going on at school and class and getting girls and losing our virginity. And all that mattered was what my friends thought about me. Obviously I cared what girls thought about me too, but like, it always took a backseat to my friends because when you're a young guy, you're always told bros before hoes, right? And I'm sure girls have their own version of that too. Fries before guys, whatever it is. But I remember not caring about my status as far as like making money. All that mattered to me was getting the approval from my friends. And at the time, the greatest way to do that was to lose your virginity. Because when you're a young man, if you don't have sex with girls, then people think you're gay. And if you're not gay, that's infuriating. Just like people think that you're unable to get girls, right? And there's nothing wrong with being gay. But what I mean is like, people think that you're incompetent. They think you're weird. They think that you're not able to attract women. And sometimes they also think that you're attracted to men and they tease you over it. And I know that that's what happened to me when I was younger. I had people tease me, right? But here's the thing. When they teased me, it actually incentivized me to lose my virginity because I didn't want to have low status amongst my friends. I didn't want them to make fun of me. I didn't want them to have ammunition to use against me. So once I lost my virginity, they couldn't make fun of me anymore, which is, sound, it sounds very toxic and it was, but that's what it's like being a guy, okay? When you play sports, when you're on a team, if you are letting the rest of the team down, AKA you're being low status, you are incentivized to get your shit together, show up to practice, perform, pass the ball, put the work in on your assignment. That way people respect you. As a young man, this is like how you prove yourself, okay? Maybe it's different now, maybe it's different for you, but this is how I felt. So at the time, you could not convince me that making money meant a goddamn thing. All that mattered was what my friends thought about me. And at that time, we were all obsessed with girls and having sex. So it was a rite of passage to lose my virginity, right? And the reason why is because it's all relative, right? None of my friends were making money. I was like selling shit on the internet, okay? I was able to get food at lunch, but what else can you buy? When I was a teenager, all I bought was food and dope. That's about it, okay? Now, as an adult, money goes so much further, which is where my perspective shifted, right? When I was in my early 20s, I still didn't really care that much about money. I never had it when I was growing up. I didn't care much about it. I was always interested in my arts. And what's funny is, suddenly something happened to me in life where I had to come up with a bunch of money. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what happened to me, but I'll give you a couple examples so that you can relate, all right? Maybe you got into a bad car accident and somebody sued you. Maybe your family member passed away and they had a several hundred thousand dollar mortgage that they had to pay off. Maybe somebody made a false accusation against you and you had to get a bunch of lawyers. Maybe you got into a bad business deal and you lost a bunch of money with a partner. Maybe you had a gambling addiction. There's a million different ways, but basically, up until my early 20s, I didn't care about money. And then something happened to me and it just switched something in my head where I had no choice but to come up with a bunch of money. And then I did. And when I was doing it, I hated myself. I hated making all this money, which sounds ironic, right? And it's because I wasn't making it by choice. I was making it because I was forced to. I didn't have a choice. I needed this money. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do what I wanted to in life. And here's what's ironic. Once I made the money, I became depressed because I thought that making that money would make me feel better. And it actually did it, which is crazy. And then I realized, well, what I enjoy more is just doing what I like. So I've left a lot of money on the table. I have a huge email list. I could be sending you guys offers 24 seven, but I don't, 
Okay, I have one product right now, Socializer School, teaches you how to approach and attract girls in real life, how to make friends and build a social circle and community in your city or worldwide, and also how to be a YouTuber. And within there, I get my guys amazing results and I've gotten thousands of testimonials, perfect five out of five rating, but it's very simple. I don't have much I have to do. I just have my small community. I send traffic to it once in a while by mentioning it in my YouTube videos. And then I help my clients. That's it. It's beautiful, right? So I've actually decided money is not a priority for me right now. And because of that, I lean more towards doing what I feel like. I spend a couple hours each day training martial arts or reading books or just recording videos for you guys. I've made hundreds of videos for free on YouTube because I genuinely help you. And this affects my status differently than money does because it means I get approval from others, right? At the end of the day, as humans, we are wired to seek validation and approval from others. And one of the best ways I can get a high leverage version of that, AKA, I speak to you, the camera, or the person watching it, and I get to reach thousands of people. That's very high ROI. Each time I'm talking, it's like I'm giving a presentation to thousands, if not millions of people around the world and getting paid to do it. So this is like what's very important to me, right? But the problem is when you make money, you become isolated. You no longer get along with those friends. So that's what I noticed after I got out of high school and after I lost my virginity all that, it's like, all right, well now I don't care as much what my friends think about me. And because of that, I decided to be an entrepreneur. I decided to start my own thing. You know, I worked a bunch of trades jobs, which were very isolating, but now that I've started my own business, I'm very lonely. And I talked about this the other day with a couple other YouTubers, like nobody else gets it. When you're a YouTuber, you work by yourself most of the time and you isolate yourself from your friends, right? So the point I'm making is guys, I've been on both sides, okay? And here's the conclusion that I've come to after spending years interacting with women, interacting with guys, making friends, approaching girls, dating, making money. I've done it all, okay? Here's the conclusion that I've come to. I actually think it's more important for you to solve your girl problem first. And here is why. Because you're watching this video right now. That's right. You've already decided for me. I have made many videos explaining how to make money online, how to make 10K a month, how to start a YouTube channel, how to make an online business, how I've made money doing various different jobs in my 20s. But those videos never get more than 10,000 views. Any video that I make on girls at least gets 10,000 views, if not a million views. On this channel, if you go to my videos and sort them by most popular, all of the most viewed videos have something to do with approaching and attracting girls in real life, stopping porn, getting girls to like you, making friends. But it's mostly girls, okay? And the truth is, actions speak louder than words. I could argue with you all day that making money is more important. I could argue with you all day that going to the gym is more important. But guess what? Those videos don't get the most views. Why? Because people aren't as interested in it. And that actually proves my point. I could tell you that money is more important, but you don't decide with the logical part of your brain. You decide with the reptile part of your brain. You see a big booty Judy, you click. You see a video about getting girls, you click. You see a video on how to make money, how to get into the trades. Nah, I'll watch that later, Denmo. Thanks, bro, but you know, I'm good. And that's the truth. Actions speak louder than words. And this is exactly my point. Guys are so focused on solving the girl problem, they watch videos on girls all day instead of watching videos on money all day. Videos on girls get the views. And it's not my fault, all right? I'm not mad about it. I'm not upset like, oh, why don't you guys watch videos on exercising or mental health or business? I don't take it personally. And I don't think any other content creator does either. It's a business. The truth is, whatever videos provide the most value, they get the most views. And guys, will watch a million dating girl videos before they even consider starting their own business. And you see this all across the manosphere, right? Think about all the podcasts where they talk about men's issues, right? Dating, fitness, making money. Which videos get the most views? Is it the fitness ones? Hell no. Is it the money ones? Hell fucking no. It's always the videos related to girls. Look at any other self-improvement channel. The videos on girls always do the best, okay? And the reason why is because deep down, you know that you probably should already be going to the gym. You know that you should be trying to make more money, but you don't care because your lizard brain is telling you that girls are more important. And that's my point, especially when you're a young man in your teenage years, in your 20s, you're going to have a crazy sex drive. You're going to constantly be thinking about sex and you're going to have all these impulses to jerk off or go and talk to girls or whatever. 
And what a lot of guys do is they try to run away from this. They try to play video games. They try to numb themselves. They try to go online and talk shit about women, which is ironic because they talk shit about women that they fantasize about having sex with. Isn't that ironic, right? So yes, obviously making money is super important, especially at a young age. But at the same time, I wouldn't trade back any of it, man. Like I was going through some notes from my phone from like five years ago. And I had all of these notes to myself, like stop banging random girls. Like this is a waste of time. You're so good at doing comedy stuff. But at the same time, I had a blast, okay? I would not trade all those days where I went to the waterfall and smoked dope with my buddies for like learning how to invest in a stock or something like that, because you can't get that time back. And I think that a lot of guys have this idea that when they're 40 and they have their house paid off and they have a couple hundred K in the bank, suddenly they're going to be able to just sling cock to fucking 21 year olds. It's not going to work like that. There needs to be a balance, right? And the beautiful thing about making money is as you make money, you set your life up more so that you can meet more women. When I was younger, I would leverage my status, aka my followers, to go and do cool stuff. My job was to go and meet people all day. My job was to get followers. So I made money while also getting girls. And I was able to like put both together. That's why so many people want to be musicians, actors, and professional athletes. Because you can become super popular, make a bunch of money, and get a bunch of pussy at the same time. And that's the thing, guys. That's why we do things without even thinking about it. The pursuit of attracting and dating women incentivizes you to make more money. So you actually should be doing both at the same time. But every time I think back to what I was thinking about when I was in my early 20s, it was never about money. It was always about girls. It was always about my friends. Only when I turned around 25 and I had some shit happen to me in my personal life did I actually start caring about money, okay? And the truth is, until you solve your girl problem, Every single day, you're going to wake up with morning wood and you're going to fight the impulse to beat one and you're going to try to avoid looking at girls on social media, but it's just, it's always going to be distracting you. And until you solve that girl problem, you're not going to be able to actually sit down and focus on making money. That's what I realized too. <clears throat> Maybe I could go a couple days reading books on finances or running a business. I ran a property management business before, but every couple days I'd be like, fuck man, I'm so horny. I want to go talk to some girls. I want to get a girlfriend. And there's nothing wrong with that. And again, you are proving my point by watching this video right now and just look at any kind of content on YouTube. The videos on making money do not get anywhere near the amount of views that videos on how to get girls do. On Instagram, the biggest social media followings are always attractive women. They're not dudes teaching you how to invest or how to start a YouTube channel. It's always just pictures and videos of attractive girls. It's really that simple. And I guess you could say that you're smarter than everybody else for disagreeing with me. But what I'm saying is stop being so hard on yourself. It's natural to want to bang a lot of girls. It's also natural to want to gain status amongst your friends. It's natural to want to gain status amongst society, aka make more money and all the perks that come with that. But you can do all at the same time and stop trying to like restrict one because what you're going to end up doing is burning out or you're going to make associating with that bad. Like there's a lot of guys out there that literally are incels and they think that pursuing women is awful. Modern women are the worst, blah, blah, blah. So what do they do all day? They go to the comment section to get status. They want people to see their comment and agree with them because that's the only way they get validation in real life. How sad is that? You have to get your validation from the YouTube comment section. I don't want you guys to go down that rabbit hole, okay? I also don't want you to waste time chasing women that are going to hurt you in your dreams because there's a lot of women out there that are going to take you away from your purpose. You're going to start dating her. She's not going to want you to go out as much. She's not going to want you to work on that business of yours. She doesn't want you to travel. Next thing you know, every night you spend with her sitting on the couch, not doing anything. She's taking you away from your purpose and your dreams. But that's your fault because you're stupid. You're vulnerable, right? So again, bro, you know what to do, but you just need to be careful and strategic about it. Now, if you need help approaching and attracting girls in real life and you want to solve your dating problem once and for all, get my socializer system. You can join my online community in the description below. I just added a new course on how to create a social circle so you can have a huge group of friends around you. Here, put some photos up on the screen. Here's me and a bunch of friends. This is in one country. This is in another. This is a fan meetup I did. Like, as much as it seems important to just want to get girls, it's super important to make friends. And if you can make friends, you can get girls, okay? And that way, you have your homies, you have your sex drive covered, and then you can make money because you're no longer distracted. I'll give you an example, dude. 
The other day I sat down to do some work, but my window was open and it was raining and there's wind blowing in the room and the fucking curtains are flying everywhere and I just couldn't focus. I'm like, oh my God. So I had to go close the fucking window, close the curtain, put on some like music to like listen to in Valks. Then I just banged out a bunch of work. Your brain is doing the same thing. Every day you wake up, you're distracted by girls, girls, girls. Your friends are talking about it. You see it on social media. Your body's telling you, oh man, I want to go talk to that girl. What are you going to do? Just resist that and, you know, oh, nope, I'm just going to go read my book on money. Yeah. Okay. Some of you that might work, but again, the majority of you, it doesn't. And you know why I know that? Because the videos on girls still get views. And in addition to this, I've been making free content for over a year now. I've taught you everything, but these videos still get views. So I actually think a lot of you guys, you don't even take the advice I give you. You just want to feel better about yourself. You just want to be understood. That's one of the most disappointing facts about human nature that I recently learned. People don't want to understand. They want to be understood. You would rather me tell you that it's okay to not pursue women or that it's okay to be poor or that it's okay to avoid going to the gym. You'd rather hear all that and feel understood than understand that you do need to approach and attract women. You do need to go to the gym and you do need to make money. Okay. People don't want to hear that though. Instead, they click videos with girls. So I don't know. What do you guys think down below? Comment your age, comment your opinion, comment if you've changed your mind like I have. But I think that until you solve the dating problem, you're just going to be too distracted by your own fucking lizard brain. Okay. Until maybe when you're in your thirties, maybe when your sex drive slows down, you change. Like that's one of the books I'm uh, starting to read. It's called the male brain. And it talks about how over time, what we want in life changes. Our insecurities change. We become more paternal in our mid thirties. We chill out a little bit. I don't know, but maybe once you make it to your thirties and you don't care about women anymore, then you're like, oh man, I should have made more money. Right. But I know that when I was young, all I could think about was girls, bro. And you're probably the same way. So get this problem solved. Then you can make money. Otherwise you're going to be distracted every single day for the next 10 years and you don't get any girls and you don't get any money. And that would be fucking sad. All right. Anyways, I hope that helped. I'll see you in the online community.